I tried to warn you guys, I did. I've, I've been saying this for so long. I've been saying this forever. I'm on vacation. I'm literally on my Christmas vacation right now. The new year is coming. I was gonna have my glass of Goldschlager at 9 p.m., take an 18 hour nap and then wake up the next year and everything was gonna be fine. But then I saw this article on Ars Technica and I just, oh, it feels so good, dude. I had to talk about it. VPN used for VR game cheat sells access to your home network, Big Mama VPN tied to network, which offers access to residential IP addresses. So like that, that, that title, that in and of itself is absolutely insane. But at the same time, for some reason, I'm not shocked. I've been saying this forever. VPNs, or you're just like some guy that doesn't trust their ISP for some reason, VPNs that you can get for like $4 a piece, you are just taking the security and pushing it somewhere else. You are taking the potential risk of someone looking at your dick pics, I guess, and pushing it onto a different actor, right? If you inherently don't trust your ISP, why would you trust Big Mama VPN. Now, we'll get into the details of what's going on here in a second. I just need to highlight that the whole idea behind using VPNs, aside from like specifically maybe wanting to watch The Office while you live in the US, but it works on Netflix in Canada, is insane to me. So, that was, so what's going on with, with this whole situation? Uh, there's a virtual reality game called Gorilla Tag, which I don't play VR. I also don't have a meta Oculus fucking virtual reality, the Matrix headset. Uh, but apparently there are videos going around on YouTube by teenagers that are saying, hey, there's a way that you can cheat in Gorilla Tag. You can make yourself actually have a delay in the game, which gives you an advantage because you can like, I guess like it, it adds a delay so you can like tag other gorillas better. I don't, I don't play the game, but... The, the game videos, the cheat videos, are all advertising this free VPN app, and it all points to, all of these videos point to one app, Big Mama VPN. And everyone's like, okay, so these kids are installing these applications for these headsets, getting a delay, and boom, they, they win Gorilla Tag. But what's crazy is it's like we're back in the early 2000s where you tried to download it in the end or it's or numb by Linkin Park and you download from LimeWire numb.mp3.exe and you run it and like you give your, your whole house AIDS. It's the same thing, but Zoomer flavored, okay? The VPN app, what it actually does is it does route your traffic through the Big Mama VPN network, but there is another service that this provider advertises. It is also selling access to its home, its users' internet connections, with buyers essentially piggybacking on the VR's the VR headset's IP address to hide their online activity. So literally, Big Mama VPN is a VPN provider that is free, that when you install it onto this headset, you become part of this peer-to-peer -peer network and anybody can just route their traffic through your house. And what's even crazier is they advertise that they do this. Watch this. Big Mama VPN. When I went to view this website, I was actually shocked at how legitimate it looks. Like if I didn't look at the fine print of this, I'd be like, oh, it's like a semi-legitimate VPN website, which is the whole problem with VPNs right now. There are so many of them and it's so easy to just, hey, chat GPT, make me a React app that uses Tailwind CSS and has some fancy animations to promote a malicious VPN network. Okay, and then it just makes this. Like this you can make this in like 20 minutes. A few things stand out as, to me as crazy. The first part is, is like, it uses WireGuard VPN technology. WireGuard VPN technology is some of the best, some of the most trailblazing, the fastest, but also the easiest to set up VPN technology on the market. So instead of like just setting one up yourself, when you sign up for Big Mama VPN, what you're doing is you're placing the trust that they are setting it up correctly and that they're not doing anything weird with your data. But anyway, I, like we were talking about before, you know, it's a traditional VPN website where they say like, oh, instant access, here are all the nodes you can connect out to, global internet routing, blah, 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 blah. But then like they very casually, right before the, the, the pricing funnel, they're like, oh yeah, by the way, Big Mama P2P, the devices running Big Mama VPN are securely bound into an anonymous peer-to-peer -peer network. The network can be accessed by our commercial clients who use it for secure global routing of their internet traffic. What? That network can be accessed by our commercial clients who use it for secure global routing of their internet traffic. 
So not only are they this weird kind of like offshore-ish feeling company that runs a VPN network for free, by the way, and again, when things are free, you're the product, um, they overtly enroll you in a peer-to-peer -peer network that lets other companies route their traffic through your house and they get to use your IP address as their IP address. So what do we have? We have a VPN network that is used as a giant peer-to-peer -peer network that could be used as a botnet or just a simple way for you to hide your traffic when you're doing malicious activity, right? And so as a shock to nobody, uh, Cisco Talos, which is a, a threat research in, uh, a threat research part of Cisco, Cisco the router company, Talos is like their, you know, their intrusion detection kind of kind of uh, team, uh, said it had seen traffic from the Big Mama proxy alongside other proxies being used by attackers trying to brute force their way into a variety of company systems, which of course makes sense. If there is a service that I can just use to proxy my traffic to look like somebody else, I'm, I, like people are going to use that to do illegal shit. So when questioned about this, Big Mama said, Oh man, that's crazy. I mean, we we don't do that. Also, we do block spam DDoS SSH, which I'm not really sure how, how you can like block just overtly spam. We block DDoS and they really like throw in SSH there for some reason. Uh, we log user activity to cooperate with law enforcement agencies, they say. Which is weird because when you go to the Big Mama website and you go to their facts and questions, uh, what information does Big Mama log? I'm gonna scroll down because you guys can't see this. We never snoop on any data that passes via the VPN network, which is weird because when questioned by the press, you, you literally said the opposite thing. So not really sure how to trust this. Also, if you look at the history of this, um, this was a LLC that was registered to a PO box in Wyoming, and then it got moved to Romania, and now it's no longer operating in Wyoming. A little funky, a little weird. Um, yeah, so, you know, bit of an odd situation for us to find ourselves in. If things weren't already weird enough for you, if you didn't already find this situation completely, I guess, A, scary, but also B, like, kind of hilarious, um, during its analysis, so Trend Micro, a, another uh, organization that does this kind of research, said that the company had found a security vulnerability within Big Mama VPN, which it could have allowed users, uh, which allowed a proxy user, so you know you are using other phones, a VR headset, for example, as nodes in this proxy network, it could have allowed a proxy user to access your local network. So not only are they potentially not only are they giving access to your IP address to use your phone as a peer-to-peer a -peer routing network, they also accidentally, via a vulnerability, had a way that you could proxy that traffic potentially into somebody's home network and then, you know, from there do the, the traditional, like, hack other devices and, and pivot your... your your persistence kind of thing. Uh, the company says that it reported the flaw to Big Mama, which it fixes in a week, which is actually pretty surprising from an incident response perspective. Uh, and this is a detail that the guy at Trend Micro confirmed. Ultimately, Hilt says that all free VPNs come with a trade-off of privacy or security concerns, uh, and that if you're downloading applications from the internet that aren't from official stores, there's always the inherent risk that it isn't what you think it is. I'm not sure why he said that, because Big Mama VPN like overtly says that they do this. Uh, I, I don't think this should shock anybody. I mean, if you go look at the Ars Technica forms, a lot of the sentiment is not really like security related. It's just like, oh yeah, like fuck the cheaters. Because remember, the people that are sideloading this VPN application to their headsets are people that are trying to cheat in a VR game. So instead of being like, wow, this is crazy. Maybe VPNs are bad. Instead, they're like, yeah, fuck the cheaters, which is like a, a crazy way to handle this information. But yeah, I mean, this is the problem with VPNs. This is the problem with any anything that you are getting for free or even even cheap. Um, it's just, you are taking a security threat. You are taking this thing that you think is like malicious, like your ISP gives a fuck about you and is like reading your emails. And then you're saying like, oh, NordVPN, for example, will protect me. So you just take all of it and you, and you push the threat to NordVPN, which you for some reason inherently trust more than your ISP, I guess. Um, and it's just ridiculous. So anyway, guys, that's it for now. If you liked this video where I was right, check out this other video where I was right as well. And then follow me on Twitch. I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash TV. I like to yap about this and other stuff. We'll see you there. Goodbye.